Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here with another installment of Tony's Take. All right, so this is an interesting one I need to talk about. I really wanted to do a, a video on it because I have a conflicting emotions. Usually when I do these Tony's Take, I, I take a clear stand on it. This one, a little bit murky. So as you can see from the title, this is all about No Man's Sky and the refunds that are going on. So basically, I mean, you guys already know what's going on with No Man's Sky. A lot of people find this game to be extremely disappointing they don't feel like they got their money's worth and they've been hitting up valve you know the, the pc guys have been hitting up valve for refunds and valve has actually been honoring them um the thing that you know this is where it gets crazy they've even been honoring refunds on the game full 60 dollars refunds if people have played over 70 hours now the usual um rule is you have had to have played the game for only less than two hours and you have had to own it for 14 days right that's valve's rule but with no mask Sky, they changed the rule i guess because of the outcry because again this th here's something i want to say quickly about no mask Sky. i don't understand the like passion behind the game like me personally i like the game for what it is i didn't go in there with any hype or anything right but it seems to me like people just like made this game out to be something that it wasn't i mean if you guys remember um the, it was leaked that the game was going to be delayed and then not only was the reporter that broke the story like issued death threats sean murray the game's developer was also issued death threats because you know like why are you delaying this game right i don't get that and then over the weekend i wrote a story for geek.com where i talked about how um this guy found out that all the planets that he named uh, not the planets, all the plants and animals and regions within a planet that he named were reset, right? So when I did that story, you know, basically the guy who wrote it, maybe 12 hours later, said that, hey, you know, I actually found out that there's a way for me to save all my game data and all that stuff, right? It doesn't actually get erased. It's just you have to really, like, reset the, the system a bunch of times to get your stuff. So, when, you know, this happened 12 or 14 hours after I had written this story. And, you know, when the correction came down, everybody started saying, up, why are you doing this? Like, why are you lying about the game? This is horrible journalism. It's like, I was doing my fucking job, dude. Like, I reported this shit when it was really going on, you know? So I, I went in there, I made the correction, obviously. But it just goes to show that, I mean, this was 3 a.m., by the way. Like, I was, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll correct this shit in the morning. And these dudes were not having it. Like, no, you got to correct this now. This thing's getting seen by thousands and thousands of people. I'm like, all right, come on, really? So, yeah, that with the death threats um the the fervent defense of the game too i don't get it man like what the hell what is it with this game that makes people act and behave in this manner it's not this is not the game that you should like be falling over your sword over you know i, I don't get it but yeah so valve they, they were issuing refunds for a while people getting their 60 dollars back right because again people were disappointed uh, the developers have famously you know promised a bunch of shit that was not in the game right i'll get to that in a little bit but they promised all this stuff people didn't see it in there because it's not in there and he wanted their money back and that's fine right but it, this is where things get murky i'm always that dude that takes the side of the consumer in most things i'm like okay am i gonna take the side of the people or a faceless corporation I'm going to take the side of the people, right? If you know me online, you've always seen that when it always comes to, you know, companies versus people, I always take the side of the people, right? So in my heart, I want to say, yes, man, fight the man. Fuck that shit. You didn't get your money's worth. You should definitely get your refund. Uh, I'm with you, brothers and sisters, you know? But on the other hand, if you played 70 hours of a fucking game, that no, that's it. You ain't, you ain't getting no refund, man. Like... I would say I'm going to give a shout out to my man, uh, Kyle Gatto, right? Another badass uh, dude in the industry. He said 10 hours minimum, 20 hours max. Then you could get your refund. Anything after that? Nope. You're stuck with your with your uh, purchase, right? I, I'm i going to go with that because it, it's a good balance between letting people play enough of the game in order for them to get a, you know, a full judgment on it and just not being crazy. It's like, come on, 70 hours? let that shit go <laughs> you know like i like i understand that you were disappointed by the game a lot of people were and that's fine but at the same time you already put in all that chunk of time in it you're done you know but it, it, again it's a hard thing because i really want to just side with with the gamers uh, wholeheartedly right but i kind of can't 
right? Um, but yeah, and again, with No Man's Sky, I don't really understand the, the fervor behind it, right? And But, you know, and then here's the thing, you know, talking about the fervor, when going back to what I was talking about before, it was already, you know, I mean, it's already public knowledge that the developers were not exactly, I don't want to say lying, but they weren't exactly truthful about all the features that were in the game. It's all been very well documented. You can't hide it. I know some people don't like the fact that that stuff is out there, but you know what? It's out there. And this isn't a simple case of, oh yeah, you know, things change in game development. I Yes, that's true. Totally understand that. But at the same time, if things do change, you should be upfront with people. Tell them, yo, we wanted to have this stuff in the game, but we couldn't do it. You know, we're sorry that it's not in the game. Maybe we'll throw it in there later. That's how you do it. People are more willing to give you another chance if you're at least up front with them, even if you're not giving them what they wanted, right? That's what how that's how it should have been handled, but they didn't. They're just going out there, you know. They went out there with, with their, you know, again <laughs> with their misinformation, and they haven't exactly corrected it either, which I find odd, right? So that's it. There you go. The 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 continuing saga of No Man's Sky continues. <laughs> the continuing saga continues. This is a stupid line. Um, but this is how you could tell I'm not scripted with these things. Off the cuff, people. Um, yeah, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is probably the biggest disappointment slash blunder in recent memory. Like, you thought Mighty Number no. 9 was a was a big fuck up? They ain't got nothing on No Man's Sky. And this, this is what I want to end the video off with. Okay, in general, people stop being hyped for games. This, this whole generation has been the greatness awaits generation, right? We're waiting for that greatness. We're waiting for that greatness. When the greatness comes, it don't come. Now, I'm not just talking about Sony. I'm talking about everybody, right? Look at look at how this generation started. Fucking Watch Dogs. That set the precedent for the whole damn thing, right? Super hype game comes out. Massive disappointment. And you've been seeing that constantly this generation. Probably more this generation than any other generation, you know? I mean, that's a whole other topic right there. I can talk about how just shitty this generation has been so far. But yeah, man, yeah, stop getting hyped. And obviously, they're not going to listen to me. But companies just stop with the with the goddamn hype, too. Just stop it, you know? Leave things be. But th okay, it's funny. I, I mentioned how Watch Dogs is the poster boy of, like, you know, how to, how to not do these things. Watch Dogs 2, on the other hand, seems to be the poster boy of how to do it right. These dudes came out with a trailer, they showed some stuff, and you haven't heard shit. They were like, okay, here's a trailer, game drops this year, we'll see you then. Good, that's how you do it, right? Stop with the hype, stop with all that bullshit. All right, so that's enough for this video. I, this video went on a little longer than I expected, but what are you going to do? Anyway, so once again, I was Tony from The Coalition. Please hit like on this video, hit unlike, comment roast me if you want <laughs> you know um subscribe to the channel please all right that's it i'll see you all next time for another less rambly video later the coalition